Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Hyphenate here. And today I'm gonna show you guys how to set up your Edochrome Pan and Tilt Kit with two head ones. All right, so here we have two head ones and then here we have the Pan and Tilt Kit. The head ones currently right now do not have any batteries on. We'll put those on later. Let's first take out the Pan and Tilt Kit from the box. Now you'll have this part here and then you'll have this here that can actually open up. It's like a bracket. And then you have a little bag of screws. Now here on this piece, you'll see an Allen wrench on the back. We're gonna use that in a bit. But right now, let's first unscrew this knob until this part comes off completely. So we're gonna disassemble this part that comes together in the box. So now we have two separated pieces. Then with this flat part here, you'll see there are three holes here. We're gonna take the screws out of this bag and put them through here in order to attach this part. Now also in the bag, besides the three screws, you get a 3 8 inch, 2 quarter inch, 20 adapter. Okay, so let's go ahead and take this part here. You'll see that there's a little rounded curved area. Now that's the bottom. So down here is the bottom. We're gonna take the three screws and we're gonna put them from the bottom up. Now we're gonna hold on to these three screws so they don't fall out. Then we're gonna grab this part here and with the Edochrome logo facing away from this knob, we're gonna go ahead and place it on there and then screw on the screws and we're gonna use the Allen wrench to tighten them. Now make sure that all three screws are on pretty tight. Once that's done, this is how it's going to look. Now, the next part is to get your camera and also get this piece here and put this into an L shape. All right, so next we're gonna grab the head ones and put the batteries in them. Now, for the sake of this demonstration, I'm gonna put it on this little tabletop tripod, but ideally you want this on a sturdy tripod. I'm gonna take a head one and I'm gonna put it onto the tripod. Now, make sure that you don't over tighten this. All right, so now that we have a head one on a tripod or a slider, then we're gonna go ahead and take this part here and we're gonna go ahead and put this on the head one, screw it into the 3 8 inch screw facing away from where the battery is. Now, once it's on there and pretty straight, make sure that you tighten this up pretty tight. Okay, so now that we have the other head one with the battery on, we're gonna go ahead and mount this onto this part here. So this quarter inch screw is gonna go directly into the little quarter inch hole that's here on this head one. And we're gonna make sure that the bottom of the head one, where there is a, another hole here, is gonna be facing towards the center of the other head one. So point it this way and then screw it on. So you wanna make sure that that's on pretty tight. And now this next part is a little bit more tedious. You have to find the center of gravity with your camera mounted onto this piece. So this long part here, this is where the camera is gonna mount. As you can see here is a quarter inch 20 screw. We're going to mount the camera with the lens facing this shorter space here. So as you can see where the screw is, there's a part that has a longer side and then a shorter side. So make sure that the lens is on the shorter side. So when I originally recorded the video, when I showed how to balance the actual camera on this bracket, I actually did it incorrectly. So I'm here on another night redoing this part. So that's why you're gonna see the camera and my hands different than what it was before. And you also see that I have a quick release plate system that I put on here. The reason I'm putting a quick release plate system is because every time I use this system, I'm gonna be pretty much using the same camera with the same lens. So for me, I'm not gonna need to have to rebalance every time. I'm just gonna put this setup and I'm good to go. Now let me show you how to balance it. Ideally, you wanna have this bottom knob loose, tight enough that this is not gonna fall off, but loose enough that you can move it back and forth because you need to find the center of gravity on this actual bracket with the camera and lens on, so that way the weight is evenly distributed and it doesn't put a lot of strain on the motors. If you do not balance the camera on the bracket, then it's actually gonna put more strain on the motors and can cause some jitters or some type of issues down the line. Now there are two sides on how you balance your camera. First, you wanna put the camera sideways with the mounting part of the bracket facing upwards. Try to do this with one finger, but do not drop your system. You're gonna put your finger onto this little knob here, so watch closely. I'm gonna pull this up, put one finger underneath that knob and put it in the center of that knob, and when you're holding it like this, you wanna move your camera forward or back. If the bracket starts to tilt forward, that means you have too much weight on the front. If it starts to tilt back a little bit, that means you have too much weight in the back. So when you have it just right, you should be able to hold it like this without feeling the camera rocking back or forth. Now, once that feels centered, then go ahead and tighten the knob underneath to keep the camera solid. Again, having it point forward. Now you have one more aspect you need to balance. 
Now you need to put your finger over that same knob, but now perpendicular to how you had it before. This is where you're gonna find where the quarter inch screw needs to be located before you screw it into the Edochrone Head 1. Now I know it's kind of hard to see from this angle, but if I push it too much this way, my camera is now dipping and it's going this way. And if I put it too much to the other way, it feels like my camera wants to fall this way. So you wanna find that right spot where it feels centered. And now you can see it's slightly up above the middle. When you screw this onto the head one, you wanna have the screw at that same distance. So then I'll hold it there, try to keep the screw in a similar spot, and then I'll screw this onto the head one. By making sure that the camera is balanced in this direction and then tightening the screw down here, and then finding the spot of where the quarter inch screw needs to be and making sure that that's balanced, those two things together will ensure that you put the minimum amount of stress on the motors when it's attached. Next, we're gonna take the camera with the L bracket and go ahead and screw this on into the other head one that's perpendicular to the bottom head one. Now make sure that the L bracket is pretty tight and that the camera is not slanting down. If these screws here, the front and back, are not too tight, then go ahead and use your included Allen wrench and then tighten those up to make sure that the camera's weight does not bring this L bracket down. So now that everything is on proper, this is how it should look. You should have your head one, then you have this bracket here that mounts onto this head one, and then this bracket here with the camera mounted directly into the head one. And there you guys have it. That's how you set up two head ones with the pan and tilt kit made by Edelkrone so that you can do pan and tilt automations at the same time. If you guys are interested in getting any of these Edelkrone products, which I personally highly recommend, I do have links in the description where you can purchase them from either B&H Photo or Amazon. It doesn't change the price you get it at, but it does help this channel. Please make sure to drop a like on this video, drop a comment below if you have any questions, and please make sure to subscribe. I have a lot more videos coming soon. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.